learn how a touch sensor works. So looking at the diagram, you could see um, that our circuit has a touch sensor, touch sensor added um, to the breadboard. Um, it's also referred to as a force sensitive resistor. And you'll see that one leg is connected to the five volt um, in, on the Arduino right here. And the other leg is connected um, to actually via this resistor is connected to ground. In addition, on the ground leg here, you'll notice we have it um, also connected to the A0, um, the analog pin A0. Um, the main function of the analog pins for most Arduino users is to read analog sensors, and that's exactly what we'll be using it for. Using the analog read method, we will get the pressure applied to the touch sensor. Um, we will then use this reading to control the brightness of the LED via the analog write method. Um, by the way, it's worth mentioning that uh, really either way you flip over this um, touch sensor, um, it should work just fine. Uh, these legs are indistinguishable, so you can't really mess up um, the force touch sensor. So uh, let's take a quick look at the code. Um, so uh, the analog pin, like I said, was A0. Um, the LED pin, I actually changed that to 8, uh, just because I'm using it Uno now. It's a little easier to see the 8 right there. Um, we have this variable called FSR reading, which we will use um, to save the level of touch that we have. And then the LED brightness is something we're going to use to kind of create what's called a map and send that to via the analog write to um, tell, um, basically sending what level we want the LED's brightness to be, if that makes sense. And this is the first time I'm using this. This is a, a serial, which is going to give us a readout, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, and it's going to let us know visually on the screen here what our um, touch sensor level is. Uh, and then this is the pin mode we've been using. And for, we let it know that we're using LED, pin 8, and we're doing the output. Um, and so right here we get the, we use the analog read to get the, um, the reading of the touch sensor. And then I, I actually just added this here because it, um, I divided it by 5 because it was just too sensitive otherwise. Um, and then this I just show to the screen, which I'll show you in a moment what that looks like. It's going to say analog reading equals, and it'll print num to the screen. And then here's that mapping I was talking about. Um, and this is just kind of a traditional for an LED, where you give it some values, and this we're controlling the first value here. And then we send that map right here to the analog write method, which will um, control the brightness of the pin. Um, so here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, compile that, upload it, and let's go see. We're going to click on the serial monitor here, and you'll see that um, we're getting some analog readings. I'm going to I'm going to start pressing on, and I'm going harder and harder, and that's about as hard as it goes right there. Like if it wasn't dividing by five, it'd be a much bigger number, obviously, five times that. Um, so I'm letting go now. It goes back to zero. I'm pressing letting go, putting on some pressure. So it's pretty cool. And the LED is lighting up here. And I'll show you that uh, via the my remote camera. But as I kind of apply pressure to this, I actually see data increasing on my screen. Though the light hasn't come on yet. It's got to get to about 100. So I'm pressing a little harder now, a little harder. And there's the light. Right. Um, it's actually on. I have so much light for the video that you can't see it. Um, when I'm applying this pressure, it's just very dim. And there it's brighter, because uh, I'm pressing it pretty hard. Um, if I had a, a higher capacity LED, you might be able to, uh, it might be a better demonstration. Um, in the future, maybe I'll try that. But um, that's how it works, though. It's, it's pretty cool, and you can kind of think of 
all different types of applications you could use this touch sensor for. Um, I hope you liked the demonstration. Please subscribe and let me know if you have any comments.